And I'm just going to blow them up any size because they really don't need to be a particular size. <laughs> Okay, so I have a few blown up already. I'm gonna go ahead and start attaching them to the pole because I'm not using all white balloons. Um, I'm just using these for the base. So I didn't wanna use all of my fancy balloons um, to build the base just because I didn't wanna waste them. I'm already running low as it is. So um, using white to build and then on the outside, I will be, I will be building with my other color balloons. So because the top is going to show, I want to make sure that I'm only blowing balloons or filling balloons with the white uh, about halfway down because up here then I will have to use the colors that are that I'm using and not white. I'm gonna go ahead and start using my just whatever size, I kind of just blew them up to any size that I was going off of. I was just eyeballing because like I said, you won't see them. So I'm just gonna quad them like this and just stick them into the pole just like that and they don't have to be flat um, I want them to be kind of triangular like this just because it's supposed to be a garland um, and not a column and I want to be able to use as less balloons as possible so I'm gonna get another two and I'm just gonna quad them up again just by twisting them together and then I'm going to stick it in and wrap around the pole again just like that so I'm gonna maneuver them a little bit just so that the holes and everything are filled but turning it around you can kind of see that it's not so uniform um, and I'm also using less balloons so here we go again do the same thing again and just push some down and keep it triangular so that it covers covers up most of the pole just going to tie it around keep it triangular and there we go so we're starting to get to the top so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of my mocha and blush colors of the pink tip of my tree so I want to gauge properly or just me being the perfectionist that I am I want to make sure that I don't um, that I don't get it wrong you know you got to work harder I mean smarter not harder um, so this one's kind of big I'm gonna look for another one I have in here I have several there we go so this one's a little smaller so I'm gonna put this one up here with this and I'm just wrapping it around each other just like I did these so that's perfect I'm gonna keep it like that so I'm gonna get the pink and do the same thing I'm just gonna wrap it around push up I'm gonna grab the other one and I'm gonna do the exact same thing I'm going to push it in and wrap it around the hole, just like that. It's not. So there we go. And this isn't going to be the same color scheme that will show. Obviously, it's going to change. Um, I'm just filling with these colors this way it's not going to be color blocked like this there we go now that I'm starting to see I'm trying to figure out exactly how low I want to go I'm going to blow up a couple of more white ones which like I said I just don't want to waste these pretty balloons blowing the base that's going to be just covered up anyways um, but you definitely can if you'd like to. Okay, so 
I think this will be the last one. The white. And then I'm going to continue with the other colors. So I'm just going to put this one in. Wrapping around the pole. Push you down. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more. So I'm just wrapping it around the pole like we did before. I'm gonna get my 160s. I'm gonna just take a couple. And I I have a couple or a few, I think only two, a couple, yes, of 19-inch balloons that I wanted to throw in. So I'm gonna just kind of start seeing how far I want this um want it to come out. I'm gonna tie the 260 or 160, sorry, around this cluster. Like that, I'm just gonna tie it onto the other end of this 260. Just tie it around. And so now we have 260 with a cluster on each side. that side this one and I'm just going to wrap the two the 260 around another balloon here just so that it doesn't come undone and just put it here. also going to use that 260 to attach more balloons so I don't want it too tight just yet but we do want to see how far or how wide, how wide, I'm sorry, we want it. Wrap this one, this one really quick. Okay, so now we, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another two clusters, the exact same, another 260, and I'm just gonna tie it around this cluster, just like I did with the other clusters. I'm just gonna tie them around. Get my pink cluster, tie it around on the other end. Just tie it. So we have, once again, two clusters on each end. So I'm gonna put the pink one in front, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, and I'm just gonna slide it through. And maneuver it there to the front. There we go. This is just going to help us know how far out we want our balloon um, tree to go so that we don't go too far out. So now that I have those spaced out, I'm gonna get some of my other ones, my fillers. And I'm gonna get another 260. And I'm gonna mix up the colors this time. I'm just gonna mix them up. They don't have to be the same because I don't want the, I kind of want them confetti out. And I'm going to tie the 260 again around the base. Sit right in between there. And you can place them however you want to. I'm just trying to keep my clusters down. See how it's kind of bouncing around? So I'm going to try and secure my base by putting other clusters on top so that it keeps it weighted down in a sense. So just wrap your other, wrap the 260 around your base here. And there you go. 
So I'm going to grab another one. I'm going to do the same thing. Grab a mocha this time. And do another beige. Beige is so pretty. And just grab. So to where you still have 260 left over, you can continue to keep wrapping. So this one is kind of running away from me. I'm going to get the 260 that I have from this cluster here. And I'm just going to wrap it around it so that it's more secure and it's stuck there. Um, I had my 260 left over here, so now I'm just going to grab another duplex. So we'll do another mocha and a pink. So we'll add a pink, merge it together. 260. I'm just going to go again on top, just like we did with the other ones, and wrap around the cluster. Another mocha. There. And wrap the 260 around the cluster again. Here's the finished product. My camera ended up dying so I wasn't able to film the end but I added some shiny rose gold balloons along with the pompous grass and fans to give it the bohemian style look that I was going for and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please be sure to like and make sure you subscribe. Bye!